What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023, if we get there, edition. Okay, so in our last episode, we went from Ecrotic City all the way to Route 42 and 43, stopped a little bit at Mahogany Town, because, well, there's only like four buildings in there, one of which we can't really visit, and, well, here we are in the Lake of Rage, so let's go right ahead and start... Seeing what the Lake of Rage has to offer, okay? Talk to this girl. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought I thought Gyarados were all usually blue. Me too. And you talk to this guy, he's like, the Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Yeah, well, if, if you guys can see, there's a Gyarados right there. Now, there, there is something else going on right here. If you surf, and I'm probably going to just like, you know, let my repel faint a little bit. Um, you're gonna eventually see what these people are talking about when it comes to Gyaradoses. And this could explain one of those fishermen's Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and see what we got. Okay, it turns out you have to fish for it, so let's go right ahead and visit something else right here. Holy crap baskets, okay. Uh, right here, the Fishing Guru's house. Let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman, let's see. Lake of Rage is usually, is a, it's an actual crater made by a rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with water, or with rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed down from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively magic up there, but I don't understand what's happening. Hmm. Something's going on, and if you guys remember the last episode, we did spot a little something uh, weird going on in uh, Mahogany Town. Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is a trainer. I heard this lake was made by Rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there is any connection to the mass outbreak here. Now there is a an outbreak here in the Lake of Rage. And well, if we could find somebody who can give us like a fishing rod or something, that'd be great. I think that guy the guy inside there gives us a fishing rod. I don't know. It's been a while since I played. The Gyarados are angry. Yes, okay, so let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can fish and see what we what we're talking about. I don't think it's gonna work, but it might, so here we go. Nope. Um Yeah, we're not gonna be doing that for right now. Okay, so check this out. You probably have to go grab yourself a, a good rod in order to actually see the Gyarados, but yes, if you're using a good rod or a super rod at this point, more than likely you're going to be going with a good rod. Um, you will be finding yourself some very, very underleveled uh, Gyaradoses. It's a very, very good way to actually get yourself, you know, a very powerful Pokemon at an early a or at an early uh, stage of its, you know, evolutionary line. And that's caused because of, you know, some weird stuff going on in the Mahogany Town right here. Can't really talk right now, but look at this. We're going into a secret area right here into the Lake of Rage. And this is the reason why we have Paris in our team because we kind of want to check it out, see what's going on. There are some items that you can actually pick up right here. One of them, I believe, is a, is a very rare TM, if I'm not mistaken. And this right here leads to that place. Now, I wonder if there's like a hidden item right here. Yes, we found ourselves a rare candy. Don't forget that. Rare candy is going to come in, uh, come in useful later on, and well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and find some, find ourselves some other items, like the one up, like up there. And well, let's see, right here, right here. It's a big old puzzle, yes. And right up here, and I think we saw a house right here somewhere. So. Let's go right ahead, and here we found ourselves another elixir, or maybe our first elixir. And well, let's see, let's see where else we can actually find. This is actually a very good place to actually find some some rare Pokemon too on the trees. If you still have Headbutt, which I kind of don't have one, I have right now. But if we go right here, we're gonna be finding something, somebody. And yes, we're gonna be finding a secret house right here. And to talk to this guy, he's gonna be like. You have strayed far. Here, I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share you my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. We got ourselves the TM10. Oh, look at that, okay. Do you see it? It is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this, its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. 
Now, what he failed to say was uh, there's a very, very, very messed up math equation that goes into finding out what kind of type your hidden power is. Yeah. It all depends on your stats, which I am not getting into. I am really not getting into the math because whoever said Draven was good at math? I didn't say it. Okay. Anywho, here we go. Route or TM43, and that is detect. Evades attack. That will, or that turn, it may fail, and I am not going to use that right now because, uh, well, yeah, it's not not my not my style right there. So let us move on. I think it's time for us to actually go straight to the Lake of Rage. So let me fast forward, get to the Lake of Rage and all that stuff, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are in front of the Lake of Rage. Did a little bit of battling. Had to use up a few uh, potions and all that stuff. But here we are, going straight to the Gyarados, and again, if you have a good rod by now, if you went the other way and then came back with a good rod, you will be able to find yourself some blue Gyarados at an early age, or at an early uh, level, or anything, like, you know, an early level, like I said, shoot, damn, I can't even speak right now. And uh, that is because what's you know, there's some weird things going on right here, and if you're going right here, he's not going to move anywhere, so let's just go right ahead and see what we got. So, here we have Flood Vault, we're going to be using his Thunder Wave, and then after that we're just going to be going with some weak stuff like, you know, Chico's Fury Cutter. Try not to do so much on it. Always save this game because, well, this is going to be... This is probably the only Red Gyarados you'll be able to find, if unless, you know, like, you know, you encounter one, which is highly, un high highly unlikely and all that stuff. So, here we go, let's go right ahead and, uh, Gishaya! Okay, so round two, Red Gyarados, we learned our lesson, Fluffolt, you are a little too strong for Fl for Gyarados, so let's just Thunder Wave him, let him leer us, it doesn't matter, you can't hurt us, but we can hurt you with a Thunder Wave, yes. So anywho, uh, Red Gyarados, very first shiny of its kind ever, big deal back in the day, I would always use him, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I would always use Red Gyarados. I, I think I've said this early on in, a, in our in my walkthrough right here that, you know, when, when I was playing Pokemon Crystal, I was mostly a water type trainer because I love the walk or the water or the water type people or Pokemon in here. Pokemon I would use for Alligator, Red Gyarados, Suicune. I know Lugia isn't a water type, but I just fill it with water type moves. And why are you missing good gravy? And uh, just like that. You got Dragon Raid, so it's making me kind of question whether or not I should, like, use Red Gyarados, because I kind of want to use Red Gyarados. I'm itching to do so. And, really? Oh, gravy. Okay, so you're fully paralyzed, finally. Okay, come on, Metronome. Don't be lame. Okay, well, I can't argue with that one right there. I mean, it saves me a turn. Alright, do it again. Come on, Togepi. Pick something good. Oh my god, that would have been bad. Okay, so here comes a thrash attack. That is going to be bad. Okay, so we got to switch out our Pokemon. Good gravy. Where is a Serpentera where you need him? Oh crap, Baskets. All right, let's go, Lucky. You are tanky. You are you are big boned. -ed -ed. I'm pretty sure you can actually handle your own right here. And yes, you are fully paralyzed. You a-hole Pokemon. Let's go with an Ice Punch. Okay, and that right there is not going to do much. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Roll out. Eh. Knowing me, I'm probably going to mess it up, and it's... N you guys are going to be trolling me. And, yeah. And here comes a Dragon Rage. Not going to work. Ice Punch. Thankfully, we can't uh, freeze this guy, I guess. And... Okay, you're fully paralyzed. Here we go again. Ice Punch. Let's, let's ice punch him away. And here comes a thrash attack. Is this going to be super effective? No. Screw this. Amnesia. Be strategic. Special defense went up. Oh. Okay, so... Got a mistake in that thing right there. Probably should have went for something like iron defense if it was... not. Nah, it's not here in generation. And yes, you are confused. Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, so... Maybe we should start throwing a Pokeball. Now, I did save that Ultra Ball... So this should probably work. Okay, come on, Ultra Ball. Come on, be cool. Be... God dang it. Okay, so... 
Uh, don't kill yourself, please. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, all right. And okay, so we got one more move before this could really hit us in the backside. Gyarados is heavy. Let's go ahead and throw a heavy ball. Come on. Come on, Gyarados. You are heavy. I'm not calling you fat. You're just heavy. Damn it! Okay, so... Uh, yes, you are no longer confused, but you, you... You... You're fully paralyzed. So here we go. Great ball, please. Help us out. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in a good damn mail. Oh, my God. Can't even speak. Okay, so that was our only great ball. Huh, we got a lure ball. We kind of didn't... Oh, crap, Baskets. Yeah, this is not going to work. Yeah, we didn't hook this Pokemon. All right. One. Deuce. Three. And... Oh! Okay, so... You're being lame, Gyarados. You, 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 you have to be with me. You got to be with me. Because, well... I will call you by a cool nickname. Hydra 2 and Crap Baskets. Okay, so... Yeah, it's not, it's not trying, yeah, it's, 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 it doesn't want to be with me. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Lure ball, come on. Come on, lure ball. Do it for the bitches. Let's go. There's one. Damn it. Okay, so, probably, okay, so this, that's my only saving grace. Uh, you know what, it's, it's, it's fast. It's, it's kind of fast. In the water. If it was raining. And, one. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, this Pokemon is really getting on my tits right now. Okay, so, come on, Fastball, help me out here. We got three specialized balls. Which one of them is going to work properly? They probably should have made a Gyarados ball or something. And there we go, throwing out the peace sign. Eat it. <sighs> Dang it. Do something like a Gyarados ball. So here it is, guys, the Gyarados. Not the red Gyarados, but, well, yeah, it is a red Gyarados. Anywho, Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. It appears whenever uh, there is world conflict burning down any place it travels through. Yes, I am going to give this Pokemon, this majestic Pokemon, a, a great nickname. A fine nickname. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Hydra number two, the Red Gyarados. And yeah, oh man, I really wish I could use this Pokemon on my team, but I already... I already picked out the Pokemon, so it's like, oh, God, if you could only fly, it would have been, uh, yeah, it would have been so different. Anywho, say hello to Hydra number two, and after getting Gyarados, you've obtained the Red Scale, which you can use to actually trade to a specific individual collector or something. And now, once you do that, there's going to be somebody here in front of the sign, talk to this guy, he's like, this lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So, the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Draven. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Draven. I could tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, would you help me investigate? Yes, I will. Excellent. It seems that the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Draven. And he is flying like Batman. Okay, so we're going to finish this off with one more thing. We're going to be going to trade this this the scale because, well, we kind of need something. We kind of need a little something something. And you, you, you know what? We're probably going to pick up a few things along the way. So I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, my God. I found Entei. So... This is good. This is good, guys, because when a legendary roaming Pokemon like Entei appears and you manage not to capture it or try not to make it faint, yes, you will be able to actually locate it on your Pokedex. Now, I'm going to try this because, well, we have it. It's not going to capture it. If it does, I will be shocked. But here's a fastball and let him break it out. Yes, there it is. Okay. So there you go. Wild Entei. He fled. I will be back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in front of Mr. Pokemon's house. All you need to do now is go straight into his house and talk to him. And he's going to be like, hmm, that scale. What is that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I I want it. Draven, would you care to get to trade it? 
I can offer this experience here I got from Professor Oak. Sure, let's go right ahead and trade for that. We need that. We really do. Okay, so we got the experience here. Life is full of delightful, or is delightful always new discoveries to be made? Yes. So, anywho, guys, yes. Um, this was probably the. This is probably a good thing too that we actually encountered Raikou, or no, not Raikou. Um, uh, Entei. It's probably a good thing because now he or she or it or I don't even know what you guys like to say, but now it's on their Pokédex. And, well, there is a little something here that you can actually uh, take a look at. Okay, so here we are, Entei. What's up? The Volcano Pokemon. Now you can actually see where it's going. Now, the thing is, Entei, like Raikou, or Raikou, or whatever you call him, it is a roaming Pokemon. It will move from place to place. It's going to be hard to actually pinpoint its location. That's why, you know, getting him randomly is usually a great thing. I don't have any Pokemon with Mean Look or Spiderweb or anything like that. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait on the, on all of that when we get to, uh, to these legendary roaming Pokemon. But if by some chance we decide that, you know, we kind of need to do this, you know, right now before we get there, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Anywho... Uh, let's see. Eh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves the experience share. This is a very good item. Shares battle experience and points by a Pokemon, so this will actually help us in our training, especially when we have to go help Lance on some kind of thing right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, links in the description, heart buttons right there. If you guys want to see some members only videos, Go ahead and join my channel, and yes, there will be some more videos coming out. Maybe some hack games. I'm looking at some hack games right here, and they're looking pretty darn good. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.